Hello, and welcome to Chapter 8, Lesson 7. Today we're going to be using models, which is another fancy word for pictures, to write fractions as decimals. So here it says you can use models to write fractions as equivalent decimals. Did you guys know that? Like one-fourth is equivalent to zero and twenty-five hundredths. And, and I always remember that because of quarters. So if I have four quarters, that equals one dollar. So if I take one quarter, that would be one out of four quarters. It's the same as twenty-five cents. Okay, so let's get started on this. Use a model to write one half as a decimal. Write one half as e uh, write one half as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of ten. So one half. If I get it to ten, then I can think of it as tenths. Right, and we know there's a tenths place, so that's why we want to try. We want to try for ten tenths or hundredths or thousandths because then we can just switch it straight to a decimal. Let me show you that here. So two times five is 10, five times one is five, okay? So if we shared, shaded a model of five tenths using the grid, how many tenths would be shaded? There'd be five, right? The model shows five tenths or we can write five tenths like this, zero point five, the same as five tenths, right? So uh, therefore, five tenths is the same as five tenths, right? So one half, if we wanted to write one half as a decimal, I need to color in five of these tenth marks, and I would write it as five tenths. Kind of neat, huh? Let's see the helpful hint. Multiplying one half by five fifths is the same as multiplying one half by one. The result is an equivalent fraction. Okay, so if I wanted to write five tenths, and we know five tenths reduces to one half, right? So they're both written as five tenths. Okay, let's do another one. Here we go. Use a model to write three fourths as a decimal. So we can use my model whenever the denominator is four. We can think of them as quarters. So if I have three quarters, I have 75 cents. So let's check it with math and make sure I'm right here. Um, so I want to get it to be 100, right? Like I said last time, we either want 10, 100, or 1,000 because we have a tenths, hundredths, and a thousandths place when we're doing place value. I'm talking decimal place value, right? Um, so 4, I'd have to multiply it by 25 to get 100. And then the numerator, I take 3 times 25 to get 75 How would you say this fraction? 75 hundredths. If I said, okay, write 75 hundredths, hundredths as a decimal, you would write, you would write 75 hundredths, right? Okay, so if I wanted to do this, I could shade in. Bup, 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 bup. So I'm going to shade in five rows this way. And then if I did five rows this way, one, two, three, four, five, right? It would be 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75 hundredths, right? Okay, so if we shaded a model of 75 out of 100, how many squares out of the hundreds are shaded? 75 are. The model shows 75 hundredths or 75 hundredths. So 3 fourths written into decimal form is 75 hundredths. Okay, let's look at another one. What would change... If one half was written as, well, sorry, in the first activity, how would it change if one half was written as a fraction with a denominator of 100? Would the result be the same? And let's talk about it. So I would take one half 
and I want to make the 2 100, so I'd multiply by 50, right, to equal 100. So I'd have to multiply the numerator by 50, so I would get 50 hundredths. Now how would I write the number 50 hundredths as a decimal? I would write it as 0 0.50 to show 50 hundredths. Now we have spoken about this, that 50 hundredths is the same thing as 5 tenths. We have spoken about how I could have 0, this is a 0, sorry, uh, 0 and 5, and I can put as many zeros after this, and it does not change the answer. Okay, and so would the result be the same? Yes, it is the same. Right, we know that uh, that kind of shows right here um, that 50 hundredths is the same as 5 tenths. Um, so yeah, it is the same. So it's kind of neat how I could say, oh, I want to make it 100, or I could say, oh, I want to make it 10. We can kind of pick and choose because we're going to get the same answer just with maybe some extra zeros that we don't need. So let's try another one. Do 3 fifths and 6 tenths represent equivalent numbers? Explain. So let's take 3 fifths. Now, for 3 fifths, I want to make the denominator 10. So I'd multiply by 2 to get tenths. And I'd multiply the numerator by 2 to get 6 tenths. Here's the fraction form of 6 tenths. So how do I get that into decimal form? Well, 6 tenths would just be 0 0.6, 6 tenths. So yes, they are equivalent numbers. And how did I prove it? I made the denominator 10, so then I could just put the 6 into the tenths place. So that one is a, yes, they are equivalent numbers, 3 fifths and 6 tenths. Okie dokie, we have two more problems here I just wanted to show you as an example so you can be successful on your assignment. Shade each model, then write each fraction as a decimal. So if I wanted to shade 9 out of 10 on here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all of them but 1, right? You can't go side to side here, get it all colored in. Um, I would have 9 out of 10, 9 tenths, right? And how would I write 9 tenths as a decimal? 0 and 9 tenths. Okay, here I have 11 out of 20. 11 out of 20. Now, I have 100 boxes here, so I better take 11 twentieths and multiply it by 5 so that I can get 100. So that would give me 55 hundredths. So I have to shade in 55, so 5 groups of 10, 4, 5, and then 5 extras. Okay. So, I am going to say this, this is the same as 55 hundredths, which is the same as 0 and 55 hundredths. Okay, I wanted to do one more. Like, let's say I have 3 fiftieths. Okay, and so I, fiftieths is not a place value, and you, I'm going to make that 100. So I'm going to multiply by 2. Multiply by 2 and get 6 fiftieths, or hundredths, oh, sorry, hundredths. 6 hundredths. So how would I write 6 hundredths as a, fra or as a decimal? I would write it as 0 and 0 tenths because the 6 needs to be in the hundredths place. I just want to talk about this quick because I feel like that's one that kind of gets mixed up quite often. So I'm going to talk about that. And that is all that I have for you today. Thank you for watching.